Hello everyone, hello from London. My name is Anna, Anna English to be exact. Yes, that's right, my middle name is English. And that's funny because I am English. I was born here in England and today I'm broadcasting to you from my kitchen in London. So, say hello, tell me where you're watching from. And if you saw my earlier video today, then maybe I should say Ni hao. I was learning Chinese earlier uh, this week and I left the video for everyone to see on the channel this morning. So if you watch that, then ni hao. And um, if you are Chinese, <laughs> then ni hao. Great, so I've got my patrons in. Hello patrons, I've got Jay and Ruben here watching live. Fantastic. Do I have any other patrons here at the moment? And I've got loads of you watching live on the YouTube channel. So if you are a new subscriber here, or sorry, a new viewer here, then make sure you press subscribe. Join our subscribers, it's free to join, and press the bell notification button so that you don't miss any future lessons. Today we are learning pronunciation and we are specifically looking at diphthongs. We have two more to tackle before we do a recap. So today we're doing a very important diphthong. I'm going to spend 10 focus minutes looking at the diphthong sound and then at the end I will open up to any pronunciation questions you have. So if you are learning English, whether it's British English or American English, you are in the right place. I am of course British, but all the pronunciation that I teach here is helpful for any English learners, whether you're learning American English or British English. All right, so stay tuned all the way to the end of the 10 minutes and then feel free to ask any pronunciation questions you have. Before we do begin, I'm going to ask you to do one thing for me. I want you to press the share button and share this video with one of your social media feeds, whether it be Twitter, um, Google+, Plus, Facebook, wherever. So click the share button, share this, let's get 200 people in. One of you said you want to see 200 people watching live. Let's see if we can make that happen before the end of the 10 minutes. So we've got 110 now, let's see how well we do. Um, I had my hair done today, do you like it? Do you like it? It's darker, slightly darker. Okay, let's get going. So as you know, oh my goodness, I've just received a super chat from Ella. Thank you, Ella, so much. You've donated $2, um, two euros, thank you. So you said, Anna, I'm really happy that you exist. Oh, bless you, that's really sweet. So as you know, anyone who donates a super chat will receive these notes with my thanks. And these notes don't just include today's, these cover all the diphthong sounds that we've covered in this little diphthong series. So you'll get all these notes sent over to you. Stay to the end, Ella, and I will tell you exactly how you get hold of those. So thank you very much. And if anybody else is um, inclined to send a super chat, you can do that by hitting the dollar sign next to the emoji sign. All donations to this channel are put into making this channel bigger and better, covering new equipment, helping me to get better internet access so that I can do better quality streams helping me to um, just invest in making this channel bigger and better for everybody to enjoy. So my patrons and people who donate Super Chats are um, helping and contributing towards this channel. So thank you very much. And in return, of course, you get the notes for this lesson and patrons also get lots of other awards. So let's carry on. So the sound I want to look at today is the important diphthong I. I. Here is the phonetic symbol. This is it written in phonetics. I. I. So a diphthong, as we know, is two vowel sounds. We have a, a, quite open, a, and then e, with the back of the tongue high. I. 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 So I want you to see that movement of the tongue. I. I. All right. So now we've got that down. Let's look at the words that we might use, um, including this sound. So we have I, simply I. And this is why this particular sound is important. Because when you're talking about yourself, 
You have to make sure you respect yourself. You don't want to say, ah, which many people do. I've been to the park. Ah, uh, uh, I'm not sure what I want. You have to make sure that you fulfill your complete sound. When you're talking about yourself, you are important. So make a complete diphthong sound. I, I am Anna. I am English. I am learning English. You're important. Do the full diphthong. Um, Julia, thank you so much. Bless you. So that's another two euros towards this community channel. So thank you very much, Julia. You're very much um, appreciated. Your support is endless and um, you're an absolute love. So thank you, darling. You also, of course, will receive the notes because you also sent a super chat yesterday. Um, so thank you. You're an absolute superstar. So we have I also talking about ourselves. We might say my, my house, my class, my friends. A lot of people when saying my will shorten it to me. Um, I've been to me house or my house. I've been to my house um, in my country. So you don't want to do that. You're important. Make it a diphthong. Um, my, I, I live in London in my house. So nice and wide diphthong sounds. Let's look at some other words. We have the very important question, why, why? Of course, this is a silent H, so we just have a W, W, and the diphthong, why, why? Why are you in my house? I would like to know. <laughs> Hello everyone who is joining me. Lovely for you to be here. We're covering the diphthong I. So we've done I, my, why, and then the number five. Oh look, I made a mistake here. Let's change that to black. Um, five, five. I have five children. I mean, I don't really, but you could say that. I have five parrots. I have five dogs. Today I ate five donuts. <gasps> naughty, naughty. Um, okay, so let's look at our first sentence with the I sound in mind. We have Diane. Diane is a female name here in the UK. Diane is shy, which is why she cried. Diane is shy, which is why she cried. Let's have a look at that. Diane is shy, which is why she cried. Diane is shy, which is why she cried. Fabulous. Next sentence. We have 99, so we've got 99 wives tried to fly. 99 wives tried to fly. 99 wives tried to fly. <gasps> okay, that's a lot of diphthong sounds in there. Um, all right, let's do one more and then I'll take a quick moment to say hello to everyone. We have piping hot, piping hot pies cut with a knife. This K is silent, so it's just an N sound at the beginning. Piping hot, these are words that sit together quite often. If it's very, very hot, like it's just come out of the oven, it's piping hot, piping hot. Piping hot pies cut with a knife. And make sure with is TH between the teeth, please. Piping hot pies cut with a knife. Piping hot pies cut with a knife. You say it. Good. Piping hot pies cut with a knife. All right. 
Hello, everyone who has just joined. How are you? I hope you are feeling well, and I hope that you are finding this interesting. <laughs> If you are, then please give me a thumb, and please press the share button and share this somewhere on your social media platforms,、um, whether it be Facebook or Twitter.、Um, let's get as many people in as we can. Oh, we only have fifty-one thumbs. Let's get those thumbs going up. The more people here, and the more thumbs and more comments, then the bigger this channel is going to be.、And、the bigger this channel is going to be, then the better quality videos and lessons I can provide. So help me to help you. Just click the share and click the thumb, and then we're done. Bum bum. Okay, so this I sound. Let's carry on. Hello, patrons. I've got Christina and Eric here. How how are you? Nice of you guys to join me. How are you finding this sound? Do you find it difficult? Do you find it easy? Let's try this sentence. Goodbye, goodbye, my. Oh, that one's one as well. My love. She sighed. If you don't know what sighed means, to sigh is to breathe out、um, in sadness, almost, <sighs> or with relief. <sighs> And sometimes you can use sigh when talking about speaking. So I, she, she said, "Goodbye, my love." She said, or "Goodbye, my love." She sighed. So I've spoken, but I've sighed it. Ah, goodbye, my love. So goodbye, my love. She sighed. Goodbye, my love. She sighed. Sighed. And then we have. Hide this tie. A tie is an item of clothing that a man or woman, but mainly men, wear around their neck, and they tie it up. And they wear it with a suit. A tie, a tie. So hide this tie much higher up. Hide this tie much higher up. Hide this tie much higher up. And then the final sentence that we have is, "It was kind of Nigel." This is a male name in the UK. It was kind of Nigel, Nigel, to buy this for me. It was kind of Nigel to buy this for me. And then, of course, I'm giving you guys lots of love, as I do every time I see you. Love, 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 love. <laughs> How did you find that? Easy. Should we do all the sentences once more? I'll say it. You repeat. Okay. Repeat after me.、Um, I. Repeat after me. My. Why. Five. Diane was shy, which is why she cried. Next one, repeat after me. Ninety-nine wives tried to fly. Good. Repeat after me. Piping hot pies cut with a knife. Good. Next sentence. Goodbye, my love. She sighed. Next. Hide this tie much higher up. Then it was kind of Nigel. To buy this for me. Very good. Alrighty. So,、um, lots of drama going on in the chat room. Thank you very much,、um, Zahir. Is it? Zahir? Oh no, Mahail. Mahail working as my moderator today. Thank you for keeping things in check. 
Um, patrons, what are you saying over there? So, can everyone see this all right? Hopefully, make that a little bit bigger. Um, all right, I find this pretty easy. Could you please tell me if the GH in higher is silent? Yes, it is. So in the word higher, we have like a Y sound. Higher, 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 higher. Okay, so that is silent. What else are you asking me? Um, Jay, could you please pronounce acquire, choir, and pious? So acquire means to get. So I acquired some food. Choir is a group of people singing together. They're an organized group of singers. Um, choir. And to be pious is to um, be quite religious, to follow a strict religious um, discipline. If you're pious, you are religious, disciplined with religion. Pious. So let me do that for you. A choir, a choir, choir, la 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 la, and pious. All right. Um, what else? Eric says, it's a piece of cake. Great. For those of you who don't know, a piece of cake means it's easy. Um, hi, my highly respected teacher. <laughs> You've used hi, uh, the I sound three times there. Excellent. Hi, my highly respected teacher. Fabulous. All right, guys, now it's your turn. Over to you. What would you like me to pronounce for you? So place it in the comments box. What you'd like me to pronounce, of course, only if you're live here with me, with me now will I be able to read out your question. But um, go ahead, let me know what you want me to pronounce for you. Um, Victor says, I want to be part of that chat group on Skype. Uh, so Victor, the chat group is for patrons and you're more than welcome to join the patron team. The link for the patron team is in the description box below. Patrons can join for a minimum of a dollar a month, I think. And for that, you get access to all my videos early. You can message me and you will receive a response. You can join the chat group during our live sessions. Um, you also get entered into a giveaway every month to win a Skype call with me. And depending on your level of patronage, there are other um, rewards as well. So some patrons get Skype calls every month. Um, but yes, all patrons support this channel financially, help me to grow the channel, and in return, they receive special treatment. So you're more than welcome to join um, and help the channel to grow. Um, so some pronunciations coming through. Let me read some of these out for you now. Da, da, da. Okay. Um, lots and lots of, okay, so ministry, please pronounce ministry, ministry, ministry. Um, uh, one of you uh, making a, a comment about British accents being very hard to understand. I do have an accent series, which is help, hoping, hopefully helping you to understand different regional accents. But yes, British accents do vary vastly. So it's important to study all aspects of English. Um, <laughs> can you contract ing endings to in sound with words? No, don't ever contract an ing into an in. Try to always do a ng sound instead of a ng sound, okay? Um, literature, literature, literature. Um, regurgitating, regurgitating, so to bring something back up. If I swallow something and I bring it back up like some birds do, or animals, you are regurgitating. You can also regurgitate information. If someone has told you some information and you repeat the information, you're regurgitating the information. Um, incrimination, incrimination, incrimination. Uh -huh. Do, do, do. Um, glycerin, glycerin, glycerin is a type of um, like sugary medicine, I think. Collabor collaboratory, collaboratory. Oh, um, that's not a word I see very often. I'm not quite sure 100% on the pronunciation of that. You collaborate, you have a collaboration, but to be collaboratory, 
I'm not sure about that word. You'll have to check in the Cambridge or Oxford Dictionary is a good point of reference. Um, bad, to be bad, not good. Ba, bad. And to go to bed, e, eh. a, naughty, a, bad, e, eh. bed, a, e, eh. a, e. Eh. Slight different position. A, e, eh. see the mouth? A, e, eh. bad, bed. Okay. Um, please pronounce the word institute, institute, institute. Please pronounce direction in American and British. So direction and American would be uh, direction, direction. It would be pretty much the same. Um, could you give me directions? And then English would say, could you give me directions? Um, Ria, no, I cannot pronounce that word. That's a crazy word. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's, that's far too difficult. Um, please can you pronounce water and better, beauty and universe. There you go, I've pronounced it for you. Jay, let's have a look what you're asking for here. Could you pronounce these please? She was engrossed, engrossed in her book. She munched the cookies. She gathered her belongings. She snatched it from him. As the gutsy cookie thief diminished her stock. As the gutsy cookie thief diminished her stock. She gasped with surprise. They're from the poem, The Cookie Thief. Wonderful. That sounds very interesting. Please can you pronounce the words wooden and wood. So this is that short U sound, even though it's a double O. Wooden, wooden and wood. The same as, I would do it. I would chop the wood. If I had an axe, I would chop the wood. Exactly the same pronunciation. Hope that helped, Ruben. Um, how about bat, to hit something with a bat, like um, if you're playing cricket, a cricket bat, or a flying bat, and bad. The difference is the T or the D. Bat, bad, bat, bad. The pronunciation of cafe in American and British. So you've got um, cafe in English, cafe, and American would be cafe. I'm going to the cafe, the, I'm going to, are you going to the caf, cafe? Uh, do Americans even talk about cafes? They, do they not say caf? Um, I'm going to the cafe. Do Americans have cafes? I don't know. I don't think they do, do they? Um, in British English, it's easier to differentiate between bad and bed, but it sounds the same in American accent, um, at least it's what it seems. So in American accent, bad and bed would be um, bad, bed, bad, bed. Um, you're a very bad boy, bad. I need to go to bed, bad, bed, bad, bed. Yeah, I mean, one is longer, bad is slightly longer, bad, bed. Okay. Magnesium or man, oh, man, I'm not sure, actually sure what that is actually, Sky. Managies, managies, I'm not sure what that is, I'm sorry. Any other ones coming through? Um, please pronounce question. I have a qu, 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 question. Question. I have a question. And suggestion, it's got this j sound in the middle. I have a suggestion. I have a suggestion. Um, how do you pronounce the word tantalize? Tantalize. It was tantalizing. All right, so any more? Any more for any more before I say goodbye? Should I see how many thumbs we have? Are you being supportive today? We have 95 thumbs. Let's see if we can get that over, over 100 before I leave you today. So if, you, if you're here, we have 130 of you in. If you're here and you haven't given me a thumb, please give me a thumb. Please, please, please give me a thumb just for being here. And I'll stop singing. Um, say aluminium, 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 aluminium. Please pronounce pure, like it was pure, untainted, pure. Um, what was the other ones? Pure, oh, I've lost it. Pure, sure, like yes, affirmative, sure. 
Are you sure? I'm sure. Sure, pure, and flower. Hmm, flowers. Like my flowers in the background, just there. Flowers, flower, flower. Please pronounce achievement, achievement. Sky, I don't know that word either. If that's a, some form of chemical compound or medicine, I'm not sure what that is. I wouldn't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Please pronounce live, as in it's happening right now, it's live, or live. I am living, I live my life. But if it's happening right now, it's live. Live, I live, and I am live, here broadcasting. Please pronounce cabbage, cabbage, and savage, savage. Please pronounce supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. What is a diphthong, says Ella? Uh, a diphthong is two vowel sounds together to make one vowel sound, like what we did today. Um, I. It's A and E together. I. I. Ah, la, 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 la. Jamal, I'm from Morocco, so I speak Arabic and I can speak French. And I want to speak English to get a job. Any advice? Um... Just immerse yourself in it. Just, um, you know, watch lots of English content. Try to speak English on a regular basis. Um, you just have to immerse yourself. There's lots of videos here to help you and there are many other amazing English teachers on YouTube who can help you. Um, but yes, you just need to spend a lot of time practicing. It's not something that comes easily or overnight. It doesn't happen quickly. You have to work at it. Can you pronounce awkward? I think that's supposed to be, or anquid. I, I, I don't recognise the word as it's spelt, but Miguel, if you mean awkward, then it's awkward, awkward. Um, MJ, I'm not sure what that word is. I've never heard it before, so I can't help you with that one. Please pronounce forward, so to move in a direction ahead of you. Forward, forward. Um... Ba, ba, ba. Flour versus flour, which you bake with or cook with, both the same pronunciation. Flour, flour. Please pronounce leave, to go, to leave, leave. Long E and a V. Leave, leave. And please pronounce opportunity in British, opportunity in American. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Or opportunity, opportunity. I think they would do tune rather than tune. Opportunity. Obviously, it depends where in America as well we're talking about. Please pronounce the words royal regalia. Royal regalia. Please pronounce peace like a little bit, a piece like a piece of cake, and peace like no more war or um, disturbance. We want peace and quiet. Both the same. A piece and peace. Um, please pronounce foot. One of your two feet is a foot. Boot. You put a boot on your foot. Boot on your foot. And wood. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. And I would. I would do it. If. Would. Both the same. Would, would. Um, please pronounce the word sixth. That's a hard one. So not first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. Sixth. Sixth. So you've got sick. S -f. Three sounds. K, s, f. Sixth. Sixth. Ah, lots coming through. So we have, what does it mean, the word tantalize? To tantalize is to tease. To tease or to encourage. Um, if it's tantalising, it's, it's very encouraging to tease someone, to try and trap them, to try and encourage them to do something. But um, tantalise, um, it, sometimes it's used in a sexual way. If something is tantalising, it's alluring. Um, or sometimes we use tantalising with food. They use like naughty food, food you shouldn't be eating. Like the chocolate was tantalizing. It tantalized my tongue. It teased me. Um, please pronounce the word sleep. Sleep and slip. Whoops. If you slip, 
and fall. Sleep, slip. Long vowel, short vowel. Sleep, slip. Sleep is long, slip is quick. Um, <laughs> what is the meaning of al alchemized? Um, it's something chemical. I'm not completely sure, um, Aman. Maybe check the uh, dictionary with that one. Alchemized. I don't know. Um, how do you say anxious? Anxious. Anxious. To be worried. To be anxious. Or and anxiety. That's a g and a z. Anxiety. To have worry is to have anxiety. Anxiety. Um, do you prepare your videos days before to be able to make around three videos a week? I make videos as well, but I can't upload frequently because I have to think a lot before making a video. Um, English with Mimo. Um, I I plan the I plan the topics that I'm going to cover um, a few days in advance or a week in advance, but then I do the actual planning for each video in the hours before I do the stream usually. Unless it's a really big subject, like when I've done um, politics, religion, then I'll spend more time beforehand because they're big topics and it takes more time. Um, remember, this is my, remember, I gave up work to do this, so this is my full time job. I know it takes a lot of work to run a YouTube channel, so uploading frequently is hard, really hard work. I don't have a social life. I work 16 hours a day, seven days a week. That's what I do. Um, thank you. Please, can you say for me, um, Dima Wydad? That's not, that's not British. I'm sorry, that's not English. So I, I don't know that one. I'm sorry. Um, please, could you pronounce forgotten? Forgotten. Forgotten. Um, ba, 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 ba. How do you pronounce recognize? Recognize. Recognize. Um, please pronounce sheet like a sheet of paper, which is a piece of paper, a bed sheet goes on your bed. Obviously, if you shorten the vowel, it becomes a swear word, it becomes sh it, shit, naughty word. And then take a seat. To sit down is to take a seat, seat, sheet, seat, and the naughty one in the middle. Um, Please use accent of Indonesia. I can't, I, I don't know the Indonesian accent, but I will cover it in a video one day, I'm sure. Please pronounce Tuesday. That's a ch sound. Ch. Tuesday. I choose Tuesday. Um, please pronounce interesting. Interesting. Club. Club. Author is someone who writes a book, an author. Good. Anna, my last request. I'll be in the UK. Can you give me some advice to get it better with different accents in the UK? Um, just, Miguel, just listen to different accents. So just keep listening to different native speakers doing different accents. It's the best way to learn, honestly. There's no other advice I can give you other than just getting used to it. Ah, la, 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 la. Author versus the animal otter. Or... Oh, author, otter. Good. Um, why, can you explain why Edinburgh is pronounced Edinburgh and not Edinburgh? Um, I don't know why. I can't tell you why. And what I always say to my students is, don't worry about why. Why won't help you. Just know the correct pronunciation. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. It's a lovely, beautiful city in Scotland. If you ever visit, then you should go to Edinburgh. If you ever visit the UK, visit Scotland, go to Edinburgh. Beautiful place. Um, hello, hello, hello. We have 140 people in. That's our biggest number so far. Unfortunately, we didn't get to 200, but never mind. Let me see what my patrons are saying. Um, can you pronounce done that one? Um, managerial. Managerial managerial and Eric says take a rest and drink margarita <laughs> I wish I could take a rest but I have far too much work to do um, never mind can you pronounce accompaniment 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 it's a hard one um, ba, 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 ba. please pronounce home 
This is my home. I, I row in a boat on the river, a boat. A lion roars, rawr, roar, roar. And does British English have a different or diphthong compared to ammi? Oh, American English. Um, okay, so or, roar, roar, roar. Um, floor, floor, or. They still do the or, but they tend to curl into the R sounds. So if there's a letter R, which is typical for the or vowel, um, then they will curl into it. So if I say floor, they'll say floor, floor. So they curl into the R. That's the biggest difference. Uh, oh, lots of you coming through now. Um, if I haven't read your comment, please don't take it personally. I just can't uh, keep up with them. Um, uh, Francesco, no, I won't say that sentence because that's not, that's not great. Um, please show the Russian accent. I have just learned some Russian and I'm going to do the Russian video very soon. So just stay tuned. If you haven't already, then do press subscribe and then the bell notification. The bell just tells you when I'm live and when I release a new video. And so that will tell you in future when there's new content on the channel. Um, so press that if you're a subscriber and press subscribe if you're not. Um, Benny, Benedito, Benedito, say hello. Hello. Um, how do you pronounce um, noxious and san, sunnius? I don't know that word. San, san, I don't know that word. I'm sorry, Ella. Um, please pronounce Thursday. 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 Please pronounce presumptuous, presumptuous, presumptuous. Please pronounce the word scoundrel. And what does it mean? If someone's a scoundrel, they're like a, a bad person. and they, They're a naughty person. Um, I don't know how best to pronounce, um, to explain it other than that. You're, you're a scoundrel. But we can use it in a, a playful way as well as a serious way. It's quite old fashioned, actually. I don't hear it very often. To be a scoundrel. Please pronounce limbs. Your limbs are your arms and your legs. Your limbs. And climbs. These are silent bees. Climbs. She climbs the wall. Uh, what else do I have here? Gosh, so many messages. Thanks for your lessons. I find them very helpful. Um, how to properly pronounce the word an acquaintance. Somebody that you know is an acquaintance. A uh, Acquaintance, acquaintance, an acquaintance. And is this word common in the UK? Yes, it is. Um, please pronounce water, water, water. Oh gosh, it's just jumped. Um, I love the accent. Comparison videos make a lot more. I'm trying. They do take a lot longer to make those videos, but I'm, I'm planning to. Um, amazing class. I'm excited on improving my English. You're welcome, Miguel. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, please pronounce endeavor, endeavor, and sibling, sibling. Um, how to improve my speaking because my speech is not very good. Um, you improve your speaking by joining my regular pronunciation classes, by finding someone to practice with on a regular basis, and listening lots so you know how to pronounce and how to do the correct intonation when speaking. Please pronounce However, however, however. Um, please pronounce January, February, and the name Har Har Hurricane. I don't, I don't know that. I don't know that um, player. I'm sorry. Apparently, that's the name of the football player. I'm not a big fan of football, so I, I can't tell you these people. Can you pronounce dessert? So what you eat after dinner is a dessert. Yum, 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 dessert. Um, are there several ways of pronouncing it? If you live in the desert, the sandy place, with lots of sand, it's a desert, desert. But what you eat after dinner is dessert. Desert, dessert, desert, dessert. I want to become a patron. How much money should I pay per month to be your patron? Whatever you can afford. Um, lots of patrons join for just one dollar a month, and um, every every contribution is you know much appreciated. 
For a dollar a month, you'll get access to all my videos early, as soon as I've uploaded them before everybody else. And you can join the Skype group so that you are live with me every, um, every session, so you're prioritized. Um, all you have to do is head to the link in the description box below. Um, please pronounce exist. Exist. It doesn't exist. It's like a g sound. Um, please interme intermezzo. Intermezzo. I'm not sure what an intermezzo is, but I hope that helped. Um, please pronounce mountain. Mountain. Lots of people say mountain, but it's mountain. Mountain. I climbed a mountain. Um, hello, if you're joining me for the first time, please make sure you've subscribed and clicked the thumb button and make sure you join me on lots of other lessons in the future. Anna, please pronounce moisten, apostle, nestle, and mortgage. There you go. Um, you are the best. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Um, what's the difference in pronunciation between conscious and conscience? Conscious Conscious is to be awake and conscience um, to like what you're thinking inside, like your conscience. If it weighs heavy on your conscience, um, then it, it bothers you on the inside. Your conscience is like your moral standing, what you think is right and wrong, your conscience. Um, so conscious, conscience. Um, how to pronounce Bachelor of Computer Engineering. Bachelor of Computer Engineering. Um, so Munastar is an Arabic name. Um, I just want to know how to pronounce it in British. Um, if you have a name from your country, then it will be pronounced however you pronounce it. There'll be no British alternative. Um, but I would say Mustansa. Mustansa. But I, I don't know how. I would pronounce it however you would pronounce it. Can you pronounce helpful? You are very helpful. Helpful. How to pronounce stagnate. 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 Please pronounce the word splurge. Splurge. Hi, I'm from Brazil. I want to send my congratulations to you because you're the best English teacher that I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Um, I'm going to take a few more and then I'm going to say goodbye. Um, so we've got thwart. 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 We've got the words hierarchy, hierarchy, and hierarchically. Hier I'm not sure on the pronunciation of that one. Sake. Sorry about that. Um, what's the difference in pronunciation between the verb and the noun desert and dessert, isn't it? That's what I covered earlier. Desert and dessert. Desert and dessert. Please explain what ain't means. Ain't. I ain't doing it. I am not. I. It means am not. I think ain't. Am not. I ain't doing it. I ain't bothered. I am not bothered. It means am not shortened down. Am not. Okay. Please pronounce education. 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 Um. Um, if you send me really, really crazy long words that we never say in the UK, I can't pronounce them for you because I can't read them. Can I ask you, are you from Scotland? No. Are you from Ireland? No, I'm from England. Hi, Anna. Thank you very much for your teaching. You're beautiful and clever. Thank you. Um, I will come to learn with you every day. Thank you, strong man. I'm glad. And um, I do have lots of other previous lessons. Some pre-recorded, some were live. But there are many lessons, hundreds of lessons here on this channel, which you can make use of. Hello from Colombia. Please pronounce the word mischievous. I get this every time. Mischievous. 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 I always mispronounce it. Mischievous. Mischievous. Can you pronounce... Oh, I'm, I'm, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. Um, I'm a fan of you. You're a very nice teacher. Thank you. Uh, blah, 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 um, Okay, lots of questions coming through, so I don't know how to answer. Um, please, what does, what does raven mean? A raven is um, a bird, a black bird, um, but also we can use raven to say colour. So she had raven hair, you might say about me, she has black hair. 
raven hair. Um, when we learn Russian, I have done the learning Russian video. I just need to edit it and upload it. That will be coming in the next few weeks. Hello in Argentina. Hola. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up now and say goodbye. Um, if you are here and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. If you haven't yet pressed the thumb button, then please do. And do share this with your friends or your um, colleagues or anyone you know who's interested in learning English. That would be very, very helpful. Now, another way that you can help me is to provide your language to my videos. And those of you who already have provided translations, thank you so much. It makes such a difference to the people in your country who are trying to learn English. So if you feel confident with your English, if you don't, don't worry, but if you do feel confident, then I would love if you would take a few moments, even if it's just to translate the title of a video or to translate the description, or if you have the time, to translate the subtitles. I have many videos here, some are very long, some are very short, and so it would, some could take just a few minutes to translate, some might take longer. So if you have the time and you feel confident in your English, I would love to have your language on my videos. So if you're willing to do that to help me in that way, the link for translating my videos is in the description box below. I would much appreciate your help with that. Um, if you want help in any other way, then please do consider becoming a patron and joining the Patreon team. And in fact, I'm going to say a goodbye now to my patrons. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, thank you, Anna. See you next time. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, everyone who took part today. And I hope you all have a marvellous evening. Don't forget, I am on social media and all the links for my social media are in the description box below, along with recommended books and uh, trials and things you should take advantage of, all down in the description box below. Come and join me on Instagram as well. And tomorrow, what time am I live tomorrow? I'm back with you tomorrow covering... Mm, what am I covering tomorrow? Uh, oh, clothing. I'm covering clothing tomorrow, something that's quite important for most of us, because I think most of us wear clothes. Um, so I'll be doing clothing tomorrow at three o'clock. So I hope that you will dress in your best and come and join me for a fantastic English lesson tomorrow at three UK time, right here on YouTube. Okay. It's been lovely to see you all. Have a lovely evening. Lots of love from London. Take care.